that's number Thank three. You. To get something out of your system. So as we are getting older, you know, um, and we have always wanted to do something or uh, before you go and do something else, you might want to get something out of your system. So as in the skydiving picture you got going on here, they probably always wanted to go do it. So before they got married, they went and skydived or right after they got married and they went and did it together. So I know Saw wants to go skydiving. I don't think I could do it. I think I would have a heart attack. But anyways, yeah, to get something out of your system, uh, you can even say that for if you're talking to your spouse and they might ask you, do you need to get something out of your system before uh, we do this or before we go somewhere? Yeah. It just means to get it out before it's too late. So go ahead, Saw. Yes, to get something out of your system. This is when you do something or you try something simply so you can move on. For example, let's say you've been talking about going skydiving for years and years. You research it, you look at different websites you talk to people about it but you've never actually done it someone might say just go skydiving so you can get it out of your system so once you do it you can stop researching it you can stop looking it look it up and just move on. I like this one. Yeah. I bet you do. You are one of those uh, type that uh, yeah. wing it, play it by ear, just go for it. You're uh, kind of a little wild and crazy girl. <laughs> you yeah, definitely are. So, all right. <laughs> I, uh, I did uh, close to it. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Speak of the devil. Uh, that's something you would say, like if your spouse or your friend was calling or showing up right at the time that you were just talking about them. So, like, if I was talking about saw to somebody and she called me or she showed up, I would be like, "Well, speak of the devil." It's just the same doesn't mean that they're the devil. <laughs> Well, uh, yeah. yeah, speak of the devil when you're talking about someone and then they show up at the exact time. So go ahead, stop. That lady right there looks like the devil. Her hair and her <laughs> eyes. Oh. <laughs> yes, I like that one. Speak of the devil. This sounds negative because of devil but it's not at all. This is used when you're talking about someone and they appear as that it told you exactly as you're talking about them. So this has happened, right? Let's say you're talking to a friend about your virtual friend, Bob. And you're talking about uh, Bob. Oh, it's is Bob going to come to the party? Oh, I'm not sure. I haven't uh, talked to Bob. And then your phone rings. And guess what? It's Bob. And then you can say, speak of the devil. Next. Yeah. So Bob, do you guys have people named Bob down there? Probably. I would like to know what you call Bob. Yeah, joke. But anyways, all right. Number 15, to give someone the benefit of the doubt. I 
giving someone the benefit of the doubt as you are trusting them with more than what um, what normally you probably wouldn't or giving them giving them a better compliment on how they're doing on their work than what you normally would. So you would be giving them the benefit of the doubt if, well, even if they're wrong, because you're like, man, I was, but I was giving you the benefit of the doubt to someone that messed up or did better than they, they were going to. So, yeah. Go ahead, Saw. Yes, this great. So, to give someone the benefit of the doubt, this is when you trust someone, when they tell you something. So, if a co worker is late and they call you and they say, I'm stuck in traffic, let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Let's trust that he is actually stuck in traffic. No pain, no gain. Not too pain, no gain. It's no pain, no gain. Yes. Yeah. Sure. Oops. I think a lot of people know that one. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah, a lot of things, you know, not just working like, out. Um, it's also with schoolwork. It's with work at um, homework, but yeah, to work is to to gain something by working hard, and it's it's painful because you're working so hard at it, but you're gonna gain something out of it. So yeah, if you have no pain, you'll probably get no gain. That doesn't mean cutting a finger off because that doesn't count. But <laughs> well, I'll cut a finger <laughs> off, maybe no, I'll gain. <laughs> So anyway, yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Sam. Yes. Yeah, so no pain, no gain. Good job. So uh the the idiom 16, no pain, no gain. Yes. This is a classic one. This is used to say that if you want a result, real result, you have to be willing to work hard and to get uncomfortable. So I might say, if you want to improve your public speaking skills, no pain, no gain. You have to be willing to get uncomfortable. 